Hello friends, my name is Javir, Javir Shah and today we are going to discuss about the natural coordinate Jita and the linear displacement in element U. In case of finite element method, we generally use this equation Jita is equal to 2 times x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1. But uh, I have derived one theory through which you are able to define how this equation is derived. In the similar manner, we are using this equation also u is equal to n1 q1 n2 q2 where n1 and n2 are safe function and q1 and q2 are nodal displacement at node number 1 and at node number 2 respectively. So how this equation will derive, what is the theory behind it that we are going to discuss right now. So first of all, I am taking one element which is having node 1 and node 2. In a simple system, in a mathematical system, it can be defined as a x1, somewhere it will be x and at the another end it will be x2. But the function zeta, natural coordinate zeta, in terms of finite element analysis, it is in form of minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to plus 1. So I am taking x1, in the similar manner zeta is equal to minus 1, x, so I want to find out the value of zeta at any x plus, and x2 means zeta is equal to plus 1, at node number 2. So we are able to define that when x is equal to x1, at that time, zeta is equal to minus 1 as per the assumption. So when x is equal to x, zeta is equal to how much that we want to find out. And when the x is equal to x2, at that time zeta is equal to plus 1. So I am taking the difference between the first and the second term in the numerator and the first and the third term in the denominator. It means x minus x1 in the numerator and x2 minus x1 in the denominator, same thing, zeta minus minus 1 in the numerator and zeta plus 1 means plus 1 minus minus 1 in the numerator. So that gives me an equation x minus x1 x2 minus x1 is equal to zeta plus 1 minus minus become plus divided by 2. And from this equation, if I want to find out the value of zeta, then zeta plus 1 will be 2 will be this side. So it will be 2 into x, x into x minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1. So ultimately, zeta is equal to 2 times x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1. So this is natural coordinate uh, system for which is used in finite element analysis. Let's see this figure. In this figure, node number 1 having certain displacement of q1 and node number 2 having certain displacement of q2 with respect to the datum point or the datum line. So how this equation u is equal to n1, q1 and n2, q2 will be defined. So this n1 and n2 are safe functions. How it defined? Uh, assume that there is one element which having node number 1 and node number 2 in the similar manner zeta is equal to minus 1 here and plus 1 here from the theory. And I am taking a unit displacement at the node number 1 because of the same function of the n1. So generally we are having this equation y is equal to mx plus c for the line. But here in this case y is equal to the n1. n1. So n1 is equal to minus 1 half zeta plus c. How it will be minus 1 half? We are knowing that m is equal to dy by dx. So dy is equal to 1 here and dx is equal to minus 1 to plus 1. That means 2 units. Minus 1, 0, plus 1. So it will be having 2 length in x direction, 1 unit displacement in the y direction. That's why the m is equal to minus 1 half because the displacement taking place from the plus 1 to minus 1 means minus 2 direction in x and positive 1 direction in y. So that's why and whenever the n1 is equal to 1 at that time zeta is equal to minus 1. So that condition I am putting here. So that will give you the value of c is equal to 1 half 
and after putting this value c is equal to 1 half here so that will give me an equation n1 is equal to minus 1 minus zeta by 2 ok then in case of uh, n2 I am taking nodal displacement at point number 2 here and then define positive m by, m is equal to positive 1 half so 1 half zeta plus c same thing n2 is equal to 1 zeta is equal to plus 1 so 1 is equal to 1 half plus c c is equal to 1 half and again after putting the value of c is equal to 1 half here it would be 1 minus zeta by 2 the whole unit here and the whole term here because as the c is equal to 1 half so 1 half zeta plus 1 half it means zeta plus 1 divided by 2 and zeta minus 1 minus zeta divided by 2 so this are the nodal displacement at the n1 point and the n2 point and if you want to define suppose I am taking here unity uh, this one is the deflection of unity but if it is more than the unity or less than the unity at that time we are using the term q1 and q2 here so that will define n1 into q1 and n2 into q2 and already what is zeta? zeta is equal to 2 times x minus x1 x2 minus x1 minus 1 hope you remember this case also I have discussed the spring element as a stiffness matrix equivalent stiffness matrix in the previous video so just check it out that is the beginning of the finite element method this is the second video I am uploading for the finite element method hope you like this videos please share this videos as also thank you very much